Hey, Mona. Here's your CD back. And don't forget, Daddy's expecting you at his cocktail party for Senator Scranton on Friday. Oh, I hate those things. You always have to pretend you voted. <laughs> well, Daddy's already told the Senator that his two lovely daughters will be there. So figure out what you're going to wear so I have sufficient time to change your mind. <laughs> Wait. It's clean in here. And not just Mona clean, it's Dee Dee clean. <laughs> I just thought it was time to take more responsibility for my personal space. And if I don't, who will? Mona, where do you keep the Santa flush? <laughs> and what is in this box that I accidentally found underneath that loose floorboard that's under that really heavy dresser that's next to your bed? <laughs> um, nothing, Ma. It's just old tax returns. Guess I shouldn't have left them out in the open like that, huh? <laughs> Baby, I think it's time you found a man to help you do your taxes. <laughs> Through this journey of discovery. Which one of these do you like better? Really? You want my opinion? Well, I guess I'd have to go with the purple. Great. I'm going with the red. <laughs> I also dropped by to nag you about Daddy's party again. Oh, well, I would come, but I hate to go without a date, and my boyfriend can't make it. When did you get a boyfriend? I don't have one. <laughs> I'm never going to have one. Now, leave me alone. You know, Mona, I've been thinking about how tense you are lately, and I wonder if it's because of your tax problem. <laughs> how I file my taxes is my own business. I'm just saying, if you focus less on your taxes and more on meeting someone, you could be a lot happier. Now, do us all a favor and get out of this apartment. I was just about to tell you the same thing. <laughs> Bye. Bye. How can such a little person be such a big pain and might be... Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you were someone else. I am, to anyone who hasn't met me. <laughs> are you Mona or are you someone else? Well, depends. Are you selling magazines, cookies, or Jesus? Because I'm full up on two of the three. <laughs> I'm answering your ad in the paper. We spoke on the phone. Oh, right. You're here for the iPod. I'm surprised you're selling her so cheap. Oh, I got the upgrade. More memory. But I promise you, this one's in perfect working condition. I trust you. You've got an honest face. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> here you go. Thanks. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, I'll uh, see you around. See ya. <clears throat> Should I be asking you on? Oh, yes, definitely. You should be. <laughs> wow, I haven't been here in a long time. Good call, Jamal. Hey, you just rhymed. I'm a poet and I don't even know it. <laughs> you did it again. You're really talented. So, what do you do? Where are you from? And what they put in the water that made you so you? <laughs> I'm a model. Print work mostly, and I think just fluoride. I'm um, surprised I haven't seen your face before. Uh, but you've definitely seen my butt. Yeah, sorry you <clears throat> caught me staring. I mean, I'm an underwear model. Can you believe someone pays me to take off my pants? <laughs> yes, I can. Um, so what do you do for fun? What would be your perfect day off? Well, that's a tough one. I guess I'd have to say Thursday. 
<laughs> Mona, I didn't know you'd be here. What's up, Spencer Williams? Jamal, just Jamal. Like Cher, except Jamal. <laughs> Jamal bought the iPod I was selling. Oh. Yep, I went there for an iPod, but I left with a beautiful woman. And an iPod, and a ticket for double parking, which makes no sense because I only have one car. <laughs> Oh, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> this is good. So, Jamal, just Jamal, uh, what's your story? All my children's my favorite. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I guess that tells me everything I need to know. <laughs> yes, it does. Go away. <laughs> well, nice to meet you, man. And, Mona, I'm about to leave you a long message on your machine. <laughs> I know we haven't even had dinner yet. But when can we get together again? Um, I'll let you know. Ma'am? Uh, Jamal, you don't, you don't have to buy me a rose. I'm not. I'll take all those, please. <laughs> so, what are you doing tomorrow night? And I think the best thing about breakfast in bed this morning was the dessert. <laughs> no, Jamal, I know we didn't really have dessert. <laughs> that was innuendo. No, you're thinking of Nintendo. <laughs> Look, I'll just see you tonight, okay? And uh, wear the fishnet shirt, would you? Okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs> so, how are things with Einstein? <laughs> Okay, so my man's a little intellectually challenged. But am I supposed to dump the most attentive guy I've dated in years just because he thinks Spider-Man is based on a true story? <laughs> Mona, I've been there. Whew. And it's hard to find someone who has the total package. Looks, brains, big ones. <laughs> Look, everybody's been on me to have a relationship. Well, this is it. Hey, as long as he never meets anybody you want to look in the eye again, you'll be cool. <laughs> Please, I'm not hiding him. The man is beautiful. The brother thought Condoleezza Rice was a side dish. <laughs> I'll just hide him. We'll be cool. <laughs> Mom, you really should stop shopping. Why don't you just tell me to stop breathing? <laughs> well. I do like this. <laughs> and you will look stunning in that at the reception for Senator Scranton. Now, remember, this is important because this could be the start of your father's political career. Daddy doesn't want a political career. But I do. <laughs> and I have a dress that will look perfect at an inauguration. <gasps> oh. Hello, poppy seed. Sorry I have to dash, but I'm off to the wig district. Their new spring collection is in, and if I don't get there early, some drag queen will snatch it up. <laughs> some color stay lip gloss. Of course you can. Wait, what's his name? I don't know what you're talking about. The new man? The one that you need glossy lips for? <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to raise my self-esteem, and Oprah says it starts with lips that shine, so hand it over. Not until you tell me who he is, because I know there's a man. Fine, let my dull lips be on your conscience. And there's no man. There's a man. <laughs> I win again. Wow, you are really good at this. I've never played strip tac toe before. <laughs> Isn't it fun? Let's go again. Oh, Jamal, let's play something else. How about hide and wait? You go hide in my room and wait. <laughs> okay. You just don't keep me waiting too long. Okay. okay. No. I was feeling guilty about not giving you the gloss, so I... Since when did you start wearing a size 12 Timberland boot? Uh, that's not a boot. It's a planter. I just got it. It's called Chia Boot. <laughs> Thanks for the gloss. Mona! It's getting cold back there. Uh, hello. I am impressed. Hello. I am Jamal. <laughs> 
been hiding him? In the bedroom, mostly. Jamal, this is my nosy little sister, Dee Dee. She was just leaving. I knew there was a man. I just didn't know what a man. Now you have no excuse not to come to Daddy's party tomorrow night. You're inviting us to a party? Oh, cool. Me and Mona don't get out much. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll see you tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, black tie. Why have you been keeping him under wraps? <laughs> oh, you can go diagonally, too. <laughs> That's why. You really don't have to do this. Oh, I think I do. Girl, you got liquid broccoli in here. Ma, I need to talk to you about this guy I'm seeing. You're seeing somebody? He's charming, he's sweet, he's attentive. But there's one problem. Short? Gay? Incarcerated? Because we can work with everything but short. It's just that he's not exactly perfect. Oh, honey, there's always going to be something wrong. The important thing is to focus on what's right. And it sounds like there's a lot right about this guy. Well, it's not like I don't enjoy being with him. You just enjoy being miserable more. Why are you such a relationship assassin? Mona Thorne, I have three words for you. Lonely, barren, lonely. Ma, are you telling me to settle? No, I'm just saying, stop being so damn picky. If I'd been that picky, you never would have been born. Maybe you're right. Yeah, of course I'm right. Give the boy a chance. Hell, you gave this cottage cheese six months. <laughs> Senator, I just want to say what an honor it is to have you here in my home. Oh, thank you. Especially so I can gloat about how badly I beat you in golf last week. <laughs> so uh, you cheat and brag, huh? Well, what are you trying to take my job? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. This is a lovely evening we put together. Thank you. And may it be the first of many lovely evenings we share, <laughs> including the governor's ball next month. <laughs> Guess on, Mrs. Scranton needs more liquor, quickly. Would you like red or white? Just pour. Now, I know you're nervous, but trust me, if you say less than five words the whole evening, no one's going to question that. <laughs> wow. I haven't seen this many black ties since I auditioned for Chippendales. Do you want to see my routine? Yes. Okay. Later. All right, I'll, I'll just need a hard hat and thermos. You know, I think the absolute best way to get through this evening is to keep moving and say nothing. That's how I got through high school. Jamal, you two look nice together. It's good to see you, Dee Dee. You look almost as beautiful as Mona. Remember that thing I said about not speaking? Well, feel free to say more things like that. <laughs> Come on, let's get it. Yeah, girls, Senator Scranton, I would like you to meet my daughters. This is Mona and Dee Dee. This is Senator Scranton and his lovely wife, Mimsy. And this must be Dee Dee's date. Actually, Jamal is with Mona. Well, I don't think I've met one of Mona's boyfriends since... Actually, you're the first. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll get a chance to sit down and talk. Oh, that ain't happening. <laughs> I mean, Dad, tonight is for Senator Scranton. So, Senator, what do you do? Jamal, that is a really good question. I get asked that a lot. You do? <laughs> yeah. But what's more important? What do you young people think I should be doing? Now, tell me. Senator, yeah. did I tell you that I voted for you? Thank you. Now, Jamal. Both times, I have a sticker and a pin and everything. <laughs> Mona, the senator's looking for an answer from Jamal. I know. Now, your generation seems to have really connected with Al Gore. What do you think about him not running? Well, I think that running is tiring. <laughs> After a while, I could understand why anybody would want to stop. Intelligent and perceptive. <laughs> now, J J Jamal, Jamal, <laughs> amazing. Mona, your man is making quite an impression. That's because nobody's really listening. What are you talking about? I am not exactly proud to admit this, but I'm doing a dumb boy. <laughs> huh? Jamal. He's sweet, but the man is simple, like paste. Really? He seems smart to me. Just pay attention to what he's saying. Need I remind you of Martin Luther King? Isn't that a three-day weekend? <laughs> exactly. That's what he's been reduced to, a holiday. 
I see what you're saying, Senator. He's become a moniker. Once again, Jamal, you have cut right to the heart of what is wrong with this country. <laughs> it's unreal. They're taking these moronic things he's saying and convincing themselves they're profound. But we need to focus on what's right with America. I mean, we do have choices. Yeah, like sometimes you want to wear boxers. Other times you want to wear briefs. Sometimes you just want to go commando. <laughs> Oh, geez, that's it. I should have never let him out of the bedroom. Right again, Jamal. Freedom is what makes this country great. Mm. What a clever way to illustrate <laughs> your point. Bravo. Oh, my God, he is an idiot, and the village loves him. Exactly. And that's why I will always love you should be the national anthem. Like, it's either that or... Shh, shh, shh. Enough about America. I finally have you all to myself. <laughs> no, no, I can't do this anymore. You're right. Who needs foreplay? Come on. I'm trying to tell you that there's something not right in our relationship. We are intellectually mismatched. But no relationship is perfect, and I'm willing to overlook it. Well, I'm not. I'm sorry, Mona, but it's over. What? I need to be with someone who can stimulate my mind. Oh, now you use big words? I'm sorry, stimulate means... I know what it means. It's just that you and I have never had the kind of conversations that I was having tonight. Even you weren't having the conversations you were having tonight. I know this is confusing for you, so I'm going to keep it simple. What choice do you have? I like you. But tonight I realized that I need to be with somebody more smarter. <laughs> the important thing is you opened yourself up to a relationship. And there were some good times. I know. I heard them. You might want to have your headboard tightened. What's the point? I'm never going to find anybody. And I'm sick of everyone telling me to be open to the possibilities. From this point on, this girl is closed. Oh, my God, what is Tyrese doing here? Remember I said I was going to book some acts here as a side hustle? Well, Daddy's been hustling. <laughs> Yo, T! Thanks for <laughs> doing this, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> What's up, man? Woo, you're killing me, dog. <laughs> well, I said I wanted an intimate crowd. I wanted to do my own little intimate thing, dog. It's about the size of my living room, man. <laughs> but all these women are here for you. Man says you want to put it like that, dog. Uh, you know. Give me the mic. Yeah, you <laughs>
about being closed. Never mind. Thank you.